All right, when you wish to begin a highlight video, in many cases, the audio track is the driving force to your edits, your cut points, uh, and to the organization of your clips. So what I wanna do is go through and, and take a look at an audio track and how we can manipulate it so that way we are more easily able to edit on beats and edit on key lyrics. In this case, I just brought in a audio track from a, it's actually an old Jock Jams remix, uh, which most people are pretty familiar with. And I just wanna show how I'm gonna go through and mark this audio clip. Now there's a few ways to mark this and to, to view your audio. One way is if it's at the bottom of the, bottom right corner of your Final Cut Pro, uh, the way in which you're able to view your clips, you can actually blow up or stretch out the size of this audio waveform. And in some cases, you can actually mark the beats using, well, just visually, see where the, the beats are in that piece of audio. In this case, I can tell you there's an awful lot of uh, peaks in here that do not, aren't necessarily the most important to me uh, when it comes to my edit points. So what I wanna do is actually listen through this audio and mark the beats and key audio uh, myself. So that's what we'll do. I'm gonna bring this back down to a more reasonable size and I'll exit out of that. And when I play through this audio, what I'm going to do is listen for when the beat hits uh, or when uh, a key piece of audio, a key phrase, or something changes in the audio that this would be a great edit point. So what I'm going to do is I'll play this through, and I'm going to tap the letter M on my keyboard with the beat and with any other key lyrics uh, or changes in the audio. So here we go. Hit the space bar. Got three bells there at the very beginning. And again, we also have the uh, the applause of this uh, intro portion, which I could also use for a beat marker. And right after this, let's get rid of the rumble is where we'll pick it up. And I'm just dropping double beat markers here because if these are points where I want to transition, I could hit either one of these And you can see as the audio changes, I've just changed the spacing of my... And now again, I become very uh, repetitive here, so again, you can mix it up. And you can miss a few or you can add a ton, uh, but again, these are key locations that you can later cut your video as most of our highlights aren't all the exact same duration right now I'm just piling a bunch of beat markers in here again a bunch of opportunities in which to end my clips because again you do have a pretty reasonable uh, beat going on here that is really easy to track. Now, as I start dragging and dropping clips in, if I zoom in on this a little bit, I can see that these would be great points for which my next clip could then begin. And it doesn't matter which one you hit in many cases, uh, but we do wanna make sure that we're transitioning our action on beats. Uh, it really helps the, the video and the audio flow together. Uh, and also try and sync up the, the types of clips that you're using, uh, that hard-hitting uh, action shot uh, with those key elements within the audio track itself. And by just tapping the letter M on your keyboard while playing through that audio track allows you to give yourself reference points to use. If you don't want that reference point there or you realize there's one that's definitely off, you can right-click on that marker and delete it. Uh, but this does give us a very nice way to navigate through our uh, our video quickly and easily. All right, hope that helps.